practically how we can set on Facebook and also how we can use it to promote our businesses or websites, especially if you're looking forward to starting an e-commerce business. As we all know, starting an e-commerce business is one of the most pro profitable business in 2024. And you can use Pl Printify and whatever. So today we are going to have Onizurike Chukwagoze to show us how this has been done. So Mr. Chukwagoze, the floor is yours. We are pleased to have you with us today. All right. Thank All right. Thank you so much, Mr. Hamza. I'm very, very glad for this wonderful opportunity to give back to humanity. So for everyone that is here, achieve a particular uh, problem. So today we'll be looking at benefits of online sales and paid advertising for businesses. Okay. So we'll go ahead to look at how to grow your business online, understanding your audience. Who do you really want to sell to? This is super, super important. So we are going to be creating our first uh, sales campaign, walking us through. This is actually a practical class. I believe probably showing you exactly how it's been done. Then after that, we'll go ahead to have a brief moment of question and answer. All right, so we'll be having a Q and A session, then we'll wrap it up. And I promise you that uh, this is going to be a wonderful session if you stay with uh meet the end okay so who exactly is honestly because i've been selling online or i'm an online sales expert or some people call it a paid advertising expert so you can also call me an e-commerce pro right so i sell products so primarily that's what i do i started selling online since 2017 is okay so i want to i want to also enable my video so that i can see me all right so this is me <laughs> okay so if you can see me please just uh give an emoji all right now when you are selling online using facebook you are bound to sharpen a whole lot of skills because selling online has made me to learn how to design funnels and sales pages, all right? So funnels are like where your landing pages for your sales page, where you uh, put your products. It has made me to learn a whole lot of uh, other skills like video and image editing, because before you can actually publish your product online, you have to probably uh, edit some videos, okay? To make it more uh, interesting for your targeted audience to engage with. If, they, if it's an image, you can maybe create a flyer and all that. So that is what selling on online has. Uh, uh made me to uh learn all right then you i have also mastered the act of copywriting because there's no how you can communicate with your target audience without learning copywriting as the case may be you also have to understand your audience psychology right there's a way you are putting words that will make somebody who want to buy your product the product that you are selling all right so this is me and uh i'm going to be showing you some of the products I've sold since uh, 27, I'm still selling, okay? And the beauty of it all is that if you are selling online, there's virtually nothing that you cannot sell, all right? You can sell a whole lot of things. You can use like, uh, okay, landed properties or buildings. You can sell things like cars. The ones I'm showing you here are the ones I've actually sold. Is okay? I've sold some of this one, all these ones, and many, many more, all right? So those furnitures, like this one here, okay? So these are luxury furnitures. How do I use this pointer now? Okay, so this whole lot of solar uh, solar items, solar equipment, so all the solar CCTV cameras, also smartwatches. This is an industrial juicer, right? So this is a solar fan, laptops, uh, mechanical watches, luxury watches. I've sold bag of rice before. Right, so that shows you that there's no limit to what you can sell online. Okay, in as much as you can craft out your your offer, a whole lot of people are ready to buy from you. I've sold you him uh women hand uh, uh handbags. Okay, I've sold designer shoes. Okay, I've sold a whole. In fact, I'm still selling some of these things up till tomorrow. That shows you that what selling online has a whole lot of what benefits. It's very, very profitable if you learn how to do it properly, okay? So just like I made mention earlier that this class is going to be interactive, please, if you are still with me, 
can I see an emoji? Okay. <laughs> All right. So that is the, those are the benefit of selling online. And this is going to be hands on because before now, after now, we are going to be going to our Facebook ads manager and we are going to be creating our first uh, sales campaign. Okay. So, all right. So from that does that about uh, me. I'm going to turn off my camera now and we're going to concentrate more on what we have for today. Okay. So selling online, I'll be able to make uh, sales revenue up to millions of Naira. Okay. So when I talk of sales revenue, that is revenue that you generate from sales. Okay. Then you can now talk about profits. So benefits of online sales and paid advertising for businesses. So you can not, uh, it cannot be overemphasized the benefits that uh, you get while selling online. Now, let me give you an illustration. If you go to a typical market, all right, maybe wherever you are, I'm sure there's a time that the market closes. Is that not all right? There's no market that probably runs, a fiscal market that probably runs 24 hours. Now, a time will come when they'll tell you, oh, we close by 8 p.m. Oh, we close by 5 p.m. And sometimes even if you call the number at that time, they will not respond to you. They'll tell you that, please call back tomorrow. We are done for the day. But that is not the same thing with what? Online sales. With online sales, you are online 24 seven. Is that okay? You're, you are always online. People can just open your website and, oh, I love this shoe. They can just uh, tap, uh, buy, and they order for it. And what you just do next is to fulfill that order. All right, let me give you an instance also, something that happened uh, last two weeks. I was in a wedding, actually. I left for the wedding, and um, the wedding lasted for, you know, everything. Even the reception lasted for about five hours. But within this period of the wedding, I was selling, okay? I don't need to probably be in a shop to sell because my website is on and I was adv running ads for a particular product, a high ticket product actually. And I got like four orders for two different products, okay? That is one from a particular product, then three from the other product. And when you look at the sales revenue, it's almost up to two million naira because high ticket, each of them is about 300 and something thousand naira. Is okay. So there is no limit to maybe when your shop is opened and when you close off for the day. Your shop will have huge markets. Is that not super interesting? In Nigeria alone, if you are, are watching us from Nigeria, the total number of Facebook users who are online is over 23 million right now look at it from your fiscal store you definitely depend on people passing through your store to see the items you have displayed to buy from you is that is that not so but for online sales you target your audience so that people that are interested in what you are selling will eventually go to your sales page or your website and buy from you Look at it this way. A whole lot of people are always scrolling through their phones, right? Many times, within one hour, you'll have checked your Facebook maybe up to five or ten times within one hour. On the average, for an average individual, okay? If you are not checking Facebook, you are checking Instagram. If you are not checking Instagram, you are searching for something. And the thing is that in as much as you are doing all these things, you are bound to see an ad, okay? Even maybe you are listening to music maybe boom player or something you are bound to be seen ad being shown to you by some of these uh digital marketers as sometimes if you like the product you click on it so there's a huge market for selling online so the your audience is not limited and there's convenience all right so now <laughs> people just oh i want to eat pizza and you see an ad for pizza and you just quickly go and order is that not super, super, super interesting? Now, you can even at the comfort of your home, instead of probably going to the store to uh, get your maybe shawarma or pizza, you can order for it and ask them to deliver to your address. So many Nigerians now find it more convenient to uh, purchase items online than going to the store itself. 
and you have focus targeting all right if i'm selling a fashion item maybe for females i can probably target only females and if it's maybe females that are elderly i can say okay i want to get this item for females that are from 45 years and above so there's a whole lot of range of targeting that you can you know use to get your audience that are likely to buy from you all right so if you are targeting married men you can definitely if you have a product for married men you can definitely target married men if you have a product for people that just got married maybe one month ago you can target them that shows you how laser focus you you can target people that are likely to buy from you and it is budget friendly all right now someone uh, uh say something to me one time that uh to maybe to run a promo ad um things like uh channels uh things like channels tv i'm sure most of you know channels tv right or maybe uh ait do you know for a one minute session or less you'll be paying nothing less than 500 to 2 m depending on the type of adverts okay now if you take that 500k 500,000 naira or let me just say 1 million naira and put it on your digital marketing you know you can reach more people compared to when you run ads on all these are uh, tv station or the local way of advertising and you can target because when your ad is being shown on television it's not everybody that will have light to even watch it at that time it's not everybody that will be opportune to see that ad at that particular time i hope you are getting the gist so there are a whole lot of benefits of selling online i'm sure most of us are aware of this but it's just like a friendly reminder so there's a huge market for it it is convenient all right so there's you how you enjoy focused targeting right so the bottom line is that with online sales you have a nationwide shop window so facebook ads are your superpower to attract the right audience the right customers to grow your business fast is okay so with online sales you can target your audience it is efficient and it allows you to tap into a massive pool of potential buyers okay so if you are still following me you can just give me an emoji let me know that i'm not alone okay so uh give me an emoji let me know that i'm not alone all right if you're enjoying the class give me an emoji let me know that i'm not alone all right so thank you thank you so that is the beauty of online so there are a whole lot of benefits so we are going to go ahead to look at understanding your audience so why knowing your ideal customer is key this is super super important this is super super important now you uh, agree with me that you are in business to do what make profits is that not there's no businessman that probably opens a shop and say oh this is for charity or this is i uh, just want to uh sell these items and uh, i don't care about what comes to it so you are in business to make profit so in running a business you need to make what sales is that is that not so you need to close deals you need to sell you definitely need to sell so selling is a repeated action of delivering value to a customer selling is a repeated uh, uh, action of delivering value so before you can make sales to your customer you must understand who really is your audience that's why you need to understand your audience okay so you cannot probably be targeting um maybe millennials for a product that solves arthritis or for uh, an arthritis solution right because an arthritis solution is is for maybe elderly people that are from 40 45 and above and maybe people that suffer arthritis always complain of joint pains and all that all right so if you are if you want to sell products like that maybe health products like that you should target your audience rightly else you'll be burning money unnecessarily and you'll be surprised that there's no returns on your advertising uh budget on the money you spend on advertising so why is understanding your audience important because you on because when you understand your audience you can target rightly and when you target rightly you will be guaranteed more sales and less wasted money is that is that clear please now your audience is very very important because it helps you to make more sales with very very low budget all right so 
sometimes I set up campaigns and the very first question I ask myself is, this particular product, who is likely to buy it, right? I'm selling a product of probably 250K and I'm targeting somebody that his salary is um, 50K, okay? That person probably needs to save for five months without touching his salary before he can afford that product, is that not? But that's, in reality, that is not, this, that is not the case, all right? You want to reduce the number of people that will come into your inbox, maybe WhatsApp to ask you, I'm interested or how much. And when you tell them the price, they lock up. Now you want to target people that, oh, okay, I love this. I this this actually what I need. Uh, when soon can you deliver? Because most of our delivery, the model we run is so that we pay, we run a model of payment on delivery. The customer, um, once the customer receives the item or the product, the customer will now make payment to our agent or whoever delivers it. All right, so that is the model. So you want to work with people that they actually need this product. Not people that will probably, you know, they cannot afford, they know fully well that they cannot afford it, not to talk of the situation of things in the country. So understanding your audience is super, super important. Now we go ahead to look at how to identify your ideal customer. So from the from the from my screen we have creating your ideal customer for a product that solves arthritis problem so who are you trying to reach okay you have to answer the question of the age the location the person's interest the person's online behavior the person's challenges and desires all right so i don't know whether there's any way maybe i can get suggestions from you before probably i explain further is there a way i can probably you guys can speak up let me hear your suggestions because this class i wanted it to be interactive okay is there a way you can speak up okay oh we can share the suggestion by chat i presume all right okay so from what's from what's on my screen how how uh this particular product if you have an idea of how to how to create our ideal customer right so from what age just answer me now if from what age should we target suppose we want to sell this particular product an arthritis solution for uh, maybe the let me just let me not give you an idea an arthritis solution who should we target what age range should we target let's start from age range first okay if you have the answer let's see from the chat i'm checking the chat now sister and above awesome fantastic okay uh mutiat sanusi says sister and above that's a very wonderful uh one for five and above okay for five to infinity nice because elderly people tend to you know complain of this uh joints even my mom right now she she's 50 something and she has this issue of arthritis okay so for five and above okay more ideas more ideas okay what age range all right so now the thing is we'll target the elderly let's give it okay ab uh, above 50 okay miriam Omar me said above 50. now let's uh give it a uh, an allowance of probably from 40 and above how about that so that's because you know some people age on facebook is definitely not their real age right but facebook is smart also to from your behavior to probably categorize you into a particular age group so let's give it an allowance of between 40 and above okay so we've been able to answer the question of what age is that okay so we've been able to answer the question of let me use this of age okay all right now for location supposing you are in probably target abuja then probably locations around abuja like uh what locations are around abuja now maybe is it kaduna all right maybe uh nasarawa or just you can target those areas so the location you target is either also determined by your own capacity right because you have elderly people in all the location 
right? Even within the, that Abuja, if you can target probably people in Garupi or maybe Metama or maybe Airport Road and all that. Does that make sense? All right? Then interest. So someone that remember we are doing what we are creating our ideal customer, and we'll say that the person's age can be what from what forty and above. Then the location is determined by your capacity. Some e-commerce uh, people like I myself, whenever I'm targeting location, I use the whole of Nigeria, or, although depending on the particular product, okay? So because I have like delivery people in all these areas that can deliver that particular product effectively and efficiently. Because if you cannot manage your logistics, you might end up that probably you have people that are interested in that product, but you will not be able to meet up to their what orders. And that would lead to a lot of what money wasted on ad spend, right? So remember, we are working towards maximizing reading a lot of health magazines. They have interest in reading a lot of maybe uh, watching shows that had to talk of maybe how to live healthy lifestyle, maybe how to keep fit, how to you know some of this uh, stuff online. So remember when you are interacting with some of these websites, a whole lot of data is being tracked, and Facebook have access to all those data. So you, when you now go down to interest, you now see how to target based on the activities of the individual. They have on, online behavior, right? So some of these people that are elderly, they, they don't spend much time online, okay? Maybe they only spend time online when they come back from work and maybe early hours. And the online behavior might be, maybe they watch a whole lot of uh, soup, maybe family comedy and all that. So their challenges is that what they have a whole lot of back ache, uh, wrist ache, and all that, and they might even have a uh, blood vision or have maybe eye defects, and so and their desires they want to be what they, to get well, they want to be okay, right? So we are trying to do what create our ideal customer for this particular product, right? So there is no single way of achieving that goal of creating your ideal customer, but you have to have an idea of who your ideal customer is okay please if you understand <laughs> where we are if you are following this class i want you to give me your best emoji all right so that i know that i'm not uh walking alone <laughs> all right okay so if you are following give me your best emoji thank you so much all uh, right because this class is something that is very very simple selling online is very very simple but we just need to have uh, understand the little theory of it okay so practical so how facebook ads target your ideal customers so we talk of demo demographics interest and behavior so right now we are going to be going straight to our facebook ads manager okay so this your typical facebook ads manager before you can set up this you need to create your business manager you need to have a, a facebook page you need to like do a whole lot of things but that is not part of this class i'm just going to show you how facebook ads target your ideal customer so from what we've actually described to create your campaign you definitely click on create so depending on the objective i'm still going to come back and explain these things okay so how to create your campaign but I'll just permit me now just to show you for the essence of explaining what's on our screen now how facebook ads target your ideal customers based on demographics, interests, and behaviors. So I'm just going to assume that I just understand this, but I'm still going to come back here. So I click on what? Continue. So clicking on continue, let me just assume that you understand this. Please, pardon me. I'm still going to come back here. I just need to show you something, all right? So we just have, have to come down all the way to this point. So I'm going to switch to use original audience. So we want to know how Facebook target our ideal customer. So based on what we've explained earlier, you have something that is called advantage detailed targeting. So what, when you want to go detailed into your targeting, you use this, right? So you can decide the age range of the people you want to target. Like for that arthritis product, we can select people from 40 and above, right? So that for people that are 40 and above, can see our product is that right so if it's male that you want to target you can select male if it's female you can select female 
but if it's all you will select what all remember there are different angles to selling your product if i want to sell a female product now please i'm digressing but i just needed to make a point a female product like a female handbag i can decide to target only women so that it's only women that will do what see that particular product but somebody that decides to target only men what do you think comes to the person's mind the person will kind of targets men and he will suggest to men okay dear Oga, please buy this item for your wife as a gift you've not gotten something for her in the past five years yes i'm talking to you get this for your wife don't you think that men will respond to that ad more when he targets them okay that's an angle all right all right you can decide to now probably you can decide to target men and be like oh this is a very nice um wristwatch for your woman get this for the love of your wife uh for the love of your life right so for a female product and you can decide to target women for a male product maybe encouraging them to buy this as a gift for their for their guys or for their husbands and all that all right so there are different angles to uh selling your product so as a specialist or as you grow you understand this better so back to what we are saying how facebook ads target your ideal customer so when you click browse you notice that you have three different sections so you can target based on demographics based on interest and based on behavior if you want to understand better what each of these does just click on this uh drop down this arrow looking at here it says what rich people based on education employment household and lifestyle details okay so when you click on this it will tell you what target people based on education so education maybe what they study if they are engineers the schools that they went to their undergraduate years right just like they told you some of these targeting options is are uh, available in us only so when you click this you can have other options so if you look at this education level you have associate degree doctorate degree so if you want to target only all only people that are in college you can get them you can just click on this and it will be added to your option okay so just click on this and to show you the size okay can you see my screen so it will show you the size here and you can see the the size i can see the description of who you are targeting is okay so that is that about demographics so if you come back you can still see more under demographics so you can see under financial the income level of the person household top 10 percent of zip code so this is for us only so you can go under life events still under demographics you can have anniversary just like what i was saying people that have anniversary within 30 days okay people that have anniversary within 31 to 60 days okay so you can target them you have um other life events you have bad days people that have bad days maybe in the next one month in the next two months okay so people that have bad days so if you are selling a product in april for people that have bad day in may you can just select this as one of the demographics all right so there are a whole lot of options you can explore so after this class do well to uh just explore this on your own all this, this is actually a free tool you don't need to pay anything for it so there are a whole lot of parents maybe all parents you can target parents with uh children that are between the ages of zero to five years if you are selling kids item you can target parents with of uh, children between the ages of nine to twelve years and all that so there are a whole lot of options for you so you have interest targeting based on interest so you have uh interest of business and industry so you have people that are under advertising agriculture like that so under banking you have banking finance so you have uh this there are a whole lot of options under interest okay so you have a uh, fitness and wellness so you have bodybuilding you have physical exercise there are a whole lot a whole lot a whole lot so do do me a favor once this class ends okay do well to just go through this if you are, if you already have your ads manager so you have targeting option based on what behavior so you have uh, mobile device users so you can decide to target maybe all samsung users all iphone users so you have you can decide to target maybe all maybe 
iPhone 14 devices and all that. So you have consumer classification and or based on country, you have uh, digital activities, operating system used, you have uh, so there are a whole lot of targeting options, right? So why I'm showing you, you this is because you want to know how Facebook ads target your ideal customers. So demographics, interests, and behaviors. So you can do well to just go through this. There are a whole lot of it. There are a whole lot of hidden interests also that uh, you can see. Probably if it's not here, you can just type maybe, what should we type now? Maybe people that are interested in gifts. Okay, so when you type gifts, so the interest on that gifts will come up, okay? So you can now decide to pick the one that uh, appeals to the particular audience you want to target, all right? So please, if this is understood, do well to let me know by hitting your best emoji. <laughs> all right. All right. Okay. So we are still following, okay? Remember this... Um, this not, not like uh, the everything, but we just need to tell you as a business owner who wants to sell online, these are the things you need to know, okay? So, hands on, building your Facebook ads campaign, okay? Now, I want to give us an option, okay? I already have like three products that I want us to select from. So, the one that we are going to use will depend on you. So, I have a product on fashion, I have a product on health and I have a product on an industrial blender. So a kitchen product. So this is practical. Let me know which one you want us to use to create our very first campaign. Okay. So I've gotten all this out. I copied their Facebook ads and I was able to bring it up so that I can replicate what they've done. Okay. Let me just open up this for the fashion. So the one that I want us to use, just write it down in the uh, comment section. The one you want us to use, you want us to use Blender, okay? You want us to run ask for the Blender, okay? So ideas, ideas. So which one should we use? We have three products that want to create a digital campaign for now. We have fashion products, we have health products, and we have uh, the kitchen product. Okay, before we start, let me just play a video. Let me play each of the videos so that I see, because these ones are video creatives, right? These are video what? Creative for the different products. So before you can sell that particular product you want to sell, you can decide to use either an image or video, okay? But from experience, most times video has worked for me. It's not that our uh, image does not work, but people tend to interact more or resonate more with videos compared to what images, okay? Like from the... Thumbnails that are seen here, this definitely show you a lady, a lady with a, with a fashion in a fashion way or fashion style, right? Mm -hmm. So supposing these are images, then the person will need more explanation to actually learn what you are saying. But for image, for but for this video, you can actually add a voiceover to explain what the whole concept is all about, right? So somebody say health products, someone say healthcare products nice so i say healthcare products so healthcare pro uh, products uh carries the day okay or wins has won the day all right so i'm not going to play each of the videos it's very going very fast okay so this is a video ad for a fashion uh a fashion product so they are selling these fashion items all right so you need to be very very creative when coming up with ads like this okay so this is a product they make a uh, female fashion tops it's okay all right now this is their ad this is their ad on facebook is all right so they are running ads so as a business owner if you want to make sales be ready to do the work involved all right so it's not um take, um you have to take a conscious effort you have to take a conscious step to Create your ads. If you cannot do it yourself, you can outsource it to an expert. Book and this is their ad on Facebook. You know, when you're going to Facebook, when you see sponsored post of sponsored ads, right? So sponsored. So this is an example of it. So for let's go ahead to look at the health product. Okay. Or let, let's look at the blender first before the health products. 
why not be so here that grinds your pepper, your tiger, or your coconut, your lemon, anything that has to be the grinding, any cereal. This person can grind your beans, can grind your more more fat for anything you can ever imagine. I seen how engaging the creative is. Okay, they are demonstrating what is happening and how it's being used. In about a few minutes, few seconds, which is going to cross everything. So this is the very best every single book can have as a family woman. They are demonstrating how it's being used. You need to buy this for your wife, you need to get for your relatives. This is every single kitchen equipment. All right, so there's that about that. So let us go ahead to look at the health product. All right. Before I don't sugar problem. But since when I this capsule, it's over diabetes and capsule. Eh? With the free gifts here. If you buy this capsule, these are the free gifts that they'll give me. And I tea. I beg my people. Make on a try. People will get diabetes problem. We get sugar problem. I bet on that. If when I use this capsule and this free gift, what will be the tea? It will work for now. I thank God for my life. I don't go test. And even my doctor say, how come? What did I use? When I tell them like this thing, they self on the user for their patient. I thank God for my life. Thank you. All right. So you've seen the ads. You've seen the ads. You've seen how it is. So we are going with the health products. Is that right? So now the thing is that we are going to set up the ads based on your your suggestion. I'm going to go with the health products. Is that okay? So let's go ahead to our Facebook ads manager and kick off. So I'm going to close this close. I'm going to discard drafts so that I'll start afresh. All right. Now, the first thing you have to do is to hit on what creates. Is okay? So there are a whole lot of campaign objectives to select from. All right. So you have awareness, you have traffic, engagement leads, app promotion and sales. For e-commerce, if you want to sell physical products or digital products, maybe if you don't probably want a whole lot of uh, people that are not serious, it's advisable to go with what sales is okay. So in going with sales objective, Facebook already know the kind of people that you want to sell your products to, people that are ready to buy. Because Facebook already have data of people that have bought items before on their platform either one week ago one month ago or uh six months ago so all those details facebook have captioned it so if you want to sell your uh, if you want to use the engagement campaign objective that one also you can use it to promote maybe your business for face uh, page likes if you want to send uh make people to watch more of your videos okay now look at it it is good for what messenger instagram and whatsapp you can use it to promote video views, post engagements, maybe people liking, commenting, and sharing. You can also use it for conversion, especially WhatsApp uh, ads. You can use it for calls. Sometimes when you are running ads, you see the call to action, that particular button at the end of the ads, it will be what calls. Sometimes you see it WhatsApp, sometimes you see it Shop Now, Order Now, Learn More, and what have you. So engagement, traffic, and awareness. Now, supposing there's a new restaurant in town, most time they use awareness to run their ads just to get a whole lot of people just to reach a whole lot of people just to get a whole lot of people in a particular location to maybe view what they have to offer right so but in this case we are going to go with what sales is all right so i'm going to hit sales and i'm going to keep click on what continue so from here now i'm going to select what manual sales campaign most time facebook gives you this option by default but for you to have full control, it's advisable to use what manual sales campaign. So I'm going to hit on what continue. So from here, we click on what just add our campaign name. So that particular product, it says or what is blood sugar something. Right. So I'm going to say what health one. So I'm going to call it health one sales campaign. So you name your campaign ideally because if eventually you start running a lot of uh, campaigns. Maybe up to twenty, you you you'll be able to what uh, distinguish between which is which. All right. So from here, you don't need to do any other thing at this point. So what you just need to do is what click what next. All right. So I'm skipping all this because <laughs> if we start explaining each and every of this, we might not live here, and we have uh, like a limit to the time meant for this class. All right. So. I'm going to click next now 
and um, it brings us to the ad set so from campaign we come to the ad set so the ad set is where you set your budget so i'm going to rename this my ad set to this okay so i'm going to call it what health one sales ad set okay now i want to insert a way that people will message me on messenger all right supposing i have a website for this i want to make it so easy for us but so if you don't have the website you can actually get people to message you on messenger then you can you know respond to them and close the deals from there then you can also decide to use calls where you have a phone number attached to your facebook page is okay so but to make it easier we are going to use messaging apps so messenger or instagram or whatsapp right so here you can if uh instagram is already connected you can tick this but there's no instagram uh, uh connected to this particular facebook page the facebook page in question here is the digital done there's no whatsapp number connected to this remember this for illustration purposes right now the performance goal is to maximum maximize number of conversations okay which ideally is what we want to get right so now the cost per result goal this one more now here everything is it but when you get charged is actually is the impression which is actually the standard way of uh charging it's your lifetime budget daily budget is how much facebook will charge per day is all right you can set your daily budget all right so on your on your budget by default is the But if you are on the serial budget, you can maybe do 1,000 Naira per day, right? Now look at it, your budget must be at least 1,100. So your budget must be at least $1 because what this means is that you cannot always use the official exchange rate, okay? So let's just do 1,500. I'm giving you an illustration, right? the smaller the number of estimated people that you can reach every day is okay the smaller your budget the smaller the number of estimated rich people that you can reach every day so as a good business person without make up your mind that you are going to spend money on us if your product is good i assure you are going to be making times five times ten of what you're spending is okay if your product is good you are going to make him times five times ten if not more of what you're spending all right so our advice that if you can let your daily budget be between from two five to five k right so as you now grow you can increase it you know upward depending on the results you are seeing and you can make your lifetime budget to also you can set it a lifetime budget maybe you can decide the start date and the end date Maybe you want it to start maybe on Monday next week. I want it to end maybe on Friday of that same Monday next week. And you set the time. And I just want to spend maybe 10K for that five days. Okay? So I can decide to set what? 10K for that five days. Oh, so it is me. So I want it to end um, on the third. Okay? So I can decide to uh, spend 10K for that five days. So Facebook will be able to split your budget daily for that particular period of time that you, you know, want the ads to run. So you can make it 20K, right? And Facebook will split the ad for that particular time. As you're increasing your budget, remember the reach is also what? Changing as the case may be. Is that okay? so as you are changing your reach is changing also so let us use a daily budget right so most times i advise people to just start with uh, down your audience and maybe you want to target people in abuja or fct let me just say fct 
So a federal capital territory is in federal capital. Okay, federal capital territory. So you can target people within federal capital territory. You notice it has picked down Abuja, all right? So you can target people maybe in Kano, all right? So it will pick it out, Kano states. Please make sure what you have at this part is states, okay? So Kano state, Nigeria. So it will target people in Abuja and Kano, all right? So it will not, someone in Lagos will not see your ad except you put it. But if you decide to throw away these two guys, that means it's targeting the whole of what? Nigeria. Does that make sense? So it's going to target the whole people in Nigeria. Okay. So once you've done this, you selected the location you want to target. You can click more to expand. So you can set your minimum age. So for that health product, people that suffer maybe blood sugar is uh also elderly people is that not all right so we can decide to set our age from maybe 25 so that people that don't have money to buy will not be seen our ad and allow facebook to you know to get your rightful audience okay you can decide to exclude we'll do that now and we to decide whether we are targeting male or female, we can switch to original audience. Facebook is always changing the interface of its platform. Sometimes it brings in new features and the previous thing that is there, it will leave it for you as an option. That's why right here is giving an option to switch to original audience options, right? So because before you know it now, they'll phase it off. So I have to switch to the original audience option so that I can have access to uh, select the gender and to decide the age range also and to define the detailed uh, targeting options. So for here, definitely both male and female are, have issues of sugar. So I'm going to leave it the gender to all. Then advantage targeting, I'm going to maybe target people that are interested in health and wealth and wellness okay so you have a uh, health and beauty so you have health health and beauty which is cosmetics no so you have health and safety executive you have a uh, health and wellness creators so you have a uh, you have a whole lot of health so you have to discover which one in particular you want Okay, health and wellness. Let me just type it complete. Okay, fitness and wellness, healthcare and medical services. All right, so the whole lot, the whole lot, the whole lot. So you have to settle down and select that. Okay, let's say healthy living, healthy, healthy food. This healthy diet let's select healthy diet which is personal care then let's select more healthy so this now we are narrowing down our our audience healthy lifestyles okay healthy lifestyles so the person wants to be free so let's look at more audience options healthy okay so this is you now creating your ads this video will still be available hamza will make it available on youtube so i've heard wellness self-care right so there are a whole lot of options the health magazine health magazine is there any health magazine men's health health and beauty page admins health and wellness health care okay let us leave it idea of the people that I can target if you notice this already give us the estimated audience size down to 310 million all right and your estimated audience which daily is 3.5 to 10 thousand for this 5k does that make sense so from here now you can decide to exclude some audience or you can narrow down your audience further exactly do you want facebook to show your ads to but I, I, I will advise you to 
placement. Okay, because most times where it will show your ads for people to respond to it and respond. It. Okay, so remember we started off with what the campaign level. We gave it a name and we didn't do anything else here. And we came down to the I did the conversion location, which is messaging apps. I'm going to use is the messenger and the Facebook page is already selected. If you don't want to use this particular page, you can click edit and edit it accordingly. So the performance goal is to maximize number of what conversations, you know, people chatting you up and asking how much. Right. So click on and set up our ads. Okay. So I have they already have like a script. Okay. It's creative. Your ad creative is consists of your the media. So here we are going to just upload that video that I've seen. Okay, so you just so why it uploads, you will just wait for it to upload. Is it okay, um, Mr. Chooks? I think while we're waiting for it to upload, I think we have a question on All the right. chat. And considering Please, the let me, let me time limits, so considering the like time limit, so we could just use it to address that question while waiting for it to upload. All right, let me check. Let me check. Okay. All right. Thank you. We have about ten minutes. Left. Okay. Does our lecturer take mentor, and is there a disinterested course on this? Okay. So, Mr. Hamza, who I do take take mentorship. It's all right. It's actually part of the last thing I'm going to talk about, but we'll formalize that before the class ends. All right. So that is not an issue. The next thing you're going to do is to input your primary text. So the people running these ads, what I just did is to copy the text that I have there. This is just an illustration video, please, of people are dumping insulin for this. Okay. So add this. Then you have your call to action. Your call to action will be what send message since you are getting messages on messenger right so you have start conversations you already have a default uh chat starter that's already set up for you now look at how the ads will look like okay so you see what digital done sponsored then you have the text and you have the video okay so we can see more previews but for the sake of our time Okay, so this is how the ad will appear in different platforms. Okay, Facebook, Instagram, Facebook video feeds, and all that. I seen how it is. So it's very, very easy to create your ads. Make sure that you have your script, okay, or your primary text, you have your video. Your creative is very, very important to show how your ads can do what perform. So once you have finished this, you just go ahead and hit what publish. And that is that. Okay, so that's how to set up your ads. All right, thank you so much. Thank you so much. So, building your first Facebook ads campaign, you asked for it and now you've gotten it. So, we had um kitchen appliance fashion and you went for health. Okay, so questions, question and answer. If you have any question, let's have it now. Then we close off for today. Thank you very much. So, if you have any question, just use the chat, ask your question. So, for the person asking for mentorship, yes, there's mentorship. Okay, we are going to finalize that with uh the convener of this uh of this webinar so that uh you get uh, a final feedback thank you so you can type in your question type your question let us attend to it before we end for the class okay mutiat sanusi you can type your question please type your question what are the glitches on pay on delivery model yes now as a, a as an e-commerce or as a sales person an online sales person before you send out your items, suppose you are in Lagos and are sending item to Medugri. <laughs> That's another part of Nigeria. Look at the distance. You have to confirm that that person is ready to receive that order. All right? 
So you have to have a professional because there are different ways of confirming your orders. Hello, sir. You made an order for this um, industrial blender. The cost price is of the price. Yes, I'm aware. Do you have the money to receive this? Thing? Anytime challenges that I have for pay on delivery models, you have people disappoint. Okay, if there's no way it is not a. Uh, is you don't see it in business yeah so mr wow. jukes thank yes. you so much we have a um, couple of questions already but okay. looks like mutia has her hands raised probably she would like to ask the question okay she already have it on the chat so okay aside facebook marketing what other ways can someone market product digitally okay aside facebook can use google google ads okay there's google ads then for people that are not in nigeria there's tiktok ad because you cannot create tiktok ads in nigeria actually but if you are outside Nigeria, you can use uh, TikTok ads. Then you can also use uh, things like uh, Bing ads. That's Microsoft ads. Okay. So you can use Google ads, uh, YouTube ads also. So there are a whole lot of platforms. Okay. But for me, from experience, the one that has actually I've been using that has made sense to me all this while is the Facebook Meta ad. Because Facebook has a lot of platforms. So if you are better on Facebook, you are, you are going to reach people on Instagram. You are going to reach people on all those facebook partner programs that's why when you are listening to music either shopify or bing you see some ads some of them are actually from facebook right so as a freelance graphic designer how best do you suggest one can market now it's very very easy as a freelancer if you are very good in graphic design you can definitely uh, market your uh, product online and your target audience will be what maybe businessmen that have little or no time for themselves that uh probably will be needing some graphics services okay but first of all it's advisable for you to do what create a list okay then from your list you can now maybe a group whatsapp group you can now probably be selling your product all right so that is uh that's except probably you are talking of probably teaching people how to then probably you can create a course and all that so mr chooks yes sir yeah, if I may, please, just a, just a minute to add to this. So um, the question that Mutiat asked as a graphic designer, I think you've given her a very explicit response to that. But in addition, there are some websites you could actually use to market your business. Um, maybe if you're a graphic designer, you can design your you can make a design on a shirt, and then you go to sites like Printify or Printful. So when you go to those sites, and then you just put the design you have over there, Printify will market your product for you. And once there's an order, they will be the one to print and sell. So that's just in addition to what he has said. So instead of thinking of you just doing graphic design, you can put the graphic design on a product. Mm. And then when you put a graphic design on a product, you go straight to Printify, Printful, Etsy. I'm doing this as well, right? So when you put put it there, those people will host the platform for you. And once there's an order, they will be the one to sell it for you it's more or less like a drop shipping for you so you are putting your graphic design into a value addition system then you can now use the facebook ads that you've learned here to drive sales to the etsy so an etsy printify printful they are all um reputable platform for selling it's just like selling on amazon so you won't have any trust issues with your customers and then you adding more value to your graphic design just in addition to what he has said so it's a very important um thing that many people are employing now and if you could check on canva if you're using canva to design so if you check on canva you're going to see that canva also now offer that print on demand so if you already have a cool design already Canva can help you print it and deliver it to the address that you want as well. So I think you can also leverage that just to add to the response that he gave. And then also our instructor, I think you missed a question there from Ademola Saeed. What are the glitches on peer on delivery model? Yeah, I think that's yes, important. I so it. Next I, week, yes. we have a Canva session. So you see how well you can use Canva to do print on demand. So your designs on Canva will sell. Yeah, Printify Etsy. Okay, yeah, that's it, yeah. Thank you. Over to you, sir. Okay. Yes, for the glitches or the challenges for pay on delivery, I responded to it all already, like on serious uh, customers and uh, issue of disappointment from the side of uh, customers. So I responded to it. Now, the good everyone, please can all this 
on my mobile okay you can type it on facebook mobile phone but um i won't advise it you can start with that but you when you grow or if you want to grow please advise you to use your pc to get all the available options your pc some people tell you yeah you can do everything on mobile phone but there's a limit to how far you can go with mobile all right so all right so i say print file okay all right so that that is that okay i think uh, the questions have been answered all right so i think the questions have been answered so the key take away from this class the key take away from this class if there's no more questions So as a business owner, if you want to rake in sales online, you must be prepared to spend money on marketing. Please, very, very important. So give your money to marketing and rake in a lot of sales. So it's funny how business owners don't want to spend money for their businesses, but want to make money. So in as much as you want to make good sales, you must have some budget set aside for marketing. So Hamza, I think uh, I'm done with the class. I said probably you have something else to say. Okay. Yeah. So thank you, Mr. Chooks. Yeah. Um, it's been it's been wonderful. So what I want to mention is I just want to add to what he has said, which is the fact that you see this arts management that you just learned is one of the most integral thing when you want to really make money from home, regardless of the kind of business. That, for instance, we have a graphic designer. Instead of waiting for customers to call you to design posters. You can as well look at the fact of you designing on your on mugs, on books, on shirts, and then you sell these things. And how do you sell them? You sell them by making ads, and then those ads is going to drive sales to the platform that you are selling on. For instance, now you can design in Canva, and then you're going to link your Canva to Etsy to Printify, and you with even Shopify, you can have your own customized e-commerce store in your own name. I believe there was no time, so that's why our instructor did not show us that he's actually into e-commerce and he has stores on his own. One of those stores is in Yanga um, stores. Maybe our instructor can just type that, um, can just present that on his screen so that you can see okay. the store. And then he sells from the comfort of his own without moving an inch. So now what this is is called drop shipping. So this is drop shipping, but you can't have that sales on that drop shipping without actually driving your sales ads and that is why this session is very important for instance next week we're going to have a session on canva where we have a canva ambassador to come and teach us how to sell we're going to have a, someone to show us how to design on canva so imagine you've designed on canva canva now have a feature where they're called print on demand so whatsoever design you have on canva you can already have canva to help you to sell it and you can connect your canva to printify printful etsy and you can have your own shopify store in your own name and you won't have to do anything and when i mean you won't have to do anything you don't have to do anything other than just make sure that you put your product and then you drive sales to it and by far the easiest way to drive sale to your product is by using facebook ads it's cheaper compared to okay. other ads if you decide to this, use facebook ads yeah so this is one of it yeah you can see this other one of the products so this is one of the products here yeah? And then yeah. once you can place order on this so on this website now, and then the order is going to be delivered to you while the owner of this store is one one of, is our instructor and is probably here delivering lecture to us, and then he's already having orders on his website. And this is something that I personally um am interested in and I'm going to venture in. And that's one of the reasons why we decided decide to bring in our instructor to come and teach us this things early. So as I'm benefiting from it, is also been a, uh, we are all benefiting from it. And personally, I'm already considering having an e-commerce store. I already launched one two months ago, but I have to bring it down because I really don't have the time to do the designs and then to put all the product there. But now I've hired a designer, which is going to put all of those things for me. So you can also consider these things. And I'm only saying this for not to, um, sugarcoat the importance of what you've learned here but for you to know that you can take it beyond the step this session is just to show you the possibilities practically how it's been done and what you can do with it so with that i say very big thank you to our instructor and um our instructor is also offering a targeted <laughs> mentorship so it's also offering a mentorship one-on-one -on -one where is going to help you do 
all you what you have to do is going to show you how it's been done and then you're going to do it so if you're also interested in owning a store yourself from your comfort of your home to sell any product that you desire regardless of where you are and then you can target to different markets you can reach out to me then i'm going to connect you to him and you can also reach out to him directly however please be creative think of ways you can actually sell what you have you can sell anything people sell digital services people sell things that you don't believe just take your time go to etsy and you'll be surprised etsy and you'll be surprised at the kind of things that is on there okay so with that i say thank you very much everyone for joining uh we'll send us an email for those that has um that are interested for the mentorship one-on-one -on -one mentorship with our mentor and um i'm sure he's going to give us a very massive discount with respect to uh because you're already part of learn with tip top hamza so i know it's not something that i normally do he's a very busy person if you go up to udemy now you could search on, on his name you see that he has courses that he also see you guys next week mr tooks thank you very much for doing this and uh, we really thank appreciate it and then we would love to have you more in subsequent sessions just follow up to what we've learned today and yeah, it's already so available on youtube just go to the rookie analyst and then